Hi there, internet. It's Anthony, and I'm about to do another reaction to The Walking Dead. So this is season four, episode three, Isolation. And that seems like the next logical step for what these characters are going to have to do, given the situation that they're dealing with right now. So I guess I'm just interested to see what that's going to look like. So all I got to say right now, let's just go ahead and get into the episode, Walking Dead, season four, episode three, Isolation. Glenn's been digging a lot of graves. They're all out there digging. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I saw the blood on the floor. That's where we ended off last time. Yeah, I smelled it. Didn't deserve it. Nobody does. All right, man, it's pretty simple. Man, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> That's about who did this. <laughs> Yeah, stop. Yeah, like, can y'all put him in, like, a sleeper hold or something? He just needs to go to sleep for a little bit. Okay, stop, 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 Rick, stop. Oh, my goodness, everybody's just so mad. <laughs> All these people need to be in isolation, for real. Dang, I mean, he just lost somebody special to him. I mean, we've seen that happen to so many people so far this show, and, you know, we see everybody dealing with it in their own ways. So you can't really blame him for being, you know, upset. Obviously, I wish he didn't resort to violence right there, but I also definitely can understand what he was feeling. At least I can understand that he would feel the need to act out from what he was feeling. I've fallen off the wagon before. That's what this is. Pretty close. When it happened, I didn't stand around feeling bad about it. I got back up. I had responsibilities. People to keep safe. Rick also pulled you back up, though. Which is why it's nice that Herschel is kind of trying to help him in this situation. And in other situations where Rick's been down. At least let Herschel or Dr. S take a look at you. Make sure nothing's broken. Whoa. When they're in the ground. <sighs> Gotta see Dr. S. Oh, man. We're gonna be okay. Will you? And this is gonna have Tyrese even more broken up. Losing two people in quick succession. But no, I don't want Sasha to die. Is he sick? It's starting. Oh no. We keep the sick people there like we tried with care. Glenn. What the hell are we going to do about that? Well, what are you doing? Into it, try to in fact, what I'm picking up is. Murder is okay in this place now. No, it is not. But we have to save lives first. We have to keep this place going. You worry about that. I'll worry about what's right. Honestly, that's... I mean, like, that's... Sure, it's a right thing, but Rick is right. You gotta focus on saving lives first before getting revenge. In fact, revenge is never really something you should be worried about. You know, he's definitely upset about it, so I can understand that. Kind of clouding his judgment. Oh my goodness. This guy has good. that governor eye going Fine. on. Oh, it's gonna be okay. It's, it's gonna this be guy, bad. Glenn is sick. Glenn? Don't, uh, don't, don't, don't come in. What is it? Yep, that's why he was doing all that weird stuff earlier. Whatever he was doing when they were at the table and he was all... Alright, I don't think Glenn is gonna die here, so I think... They can find a way to get through this. We don't get to be upset. Hey. I'll take care of Judith. Just focus on what you have to do. Dang. <laughs> I mean, Beth is kind of being real, but at the same time, y'all are sisters. If there's anybody y'all can be upset with just for a little bit, I think it would be each other. If you want to just talk real quick. Let it out. So we could have medicine as early as tomorrow. 
We got a chance. Yes, hope. See, positive thoughts, positive vibes. Get some rest. It's just, I know how you are. You care. Thank you. I was wondering if you could look in on Sasha for me. Everybody asked Carol to look in on everything. Oh. oh, what happened to Karen? I'm so sorry. It, it seems like everybody sort of relies on her in a certain way, like expects her to do something like that. Oh man, that was not smart. Don't you just hate it when anger comes over you like that and it makes you do something really stupid? Take a drink of water. You risk, you risk your, your life. life. And nowadays you breathe. <laughs> And you risk your life. <laughs> That's so true, too. Every moment now, you don't have a choice. The only thing you can choose is what you're risking it for. Hey, that's now, I can pretty make deep. These people feel better. Doctor S is sick, and we all got jobs to do. You don't have to try to be strong 100 percent of the time. That. We don't get to get upset. And she's really not allowing herself to be upset. Which again is a very understandable reaction and way of thinking. <laughs> Rick's out here on his LA Noir tip. Seemed like they started to just not even care about these walkers. And <laughs> they'd be like, okay, as long as they, you know, remain somewhat distant from me, I'm not even stressing them. Carol, please don't die. I feel like she could potentially actually die because she's had one of kind of one of those episodes. I hope she doesn't. But it's not like a situation with like Glenn or something where I don't think he's gonna die. I feel like Sasha could die, but I have a feeling she might not either. But I really don't want her to. But I'm I, I'm scared that Carol actually could die. Please don't die, Carol. Don't you dare die, Carol. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh. Yo. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I know what you did last outbreak. What is Tyrese doing? Man, he better not die either. I feel like he might die too. This feels like an episode where somebody's gonna die. That's why I'm kind of wary. Like somebody like big. Man, don't die. I think he'll. I think you should make it though. Come on, just yes. No, don't. What are you doing? He just wants to die. That's why he asked Carol to look after. What's her name? Go. But if Tyrese does die, then they definitely better not kill Sasha. We need one of them at least. Come on. They were like, they were awesome. But I really don't want either one of them to die. Come on. Please tell me he didn't get bit. See, the stakes do be feeling high in this show. It's one of those shows where they people can actually die. Hopefully Herschel somehow can't catch this. I'm fine. I'm fine. That was a stupid thing you did. I knew they'd have a talk about that. Going out there like that. Carol. Did you kill Karen and David? Hmm. Yes. Wow. She was trying to 
Keep people safe. Uh, and that makes that scene between her and um, that makes the scene between her and Tyrese even crazier because now we really can see why another layer maybe to why she reacted the way she reacted and probably how awkward that was for her with him coming up to her and saying all those nice things and then she knows she had brought him to that level and I think she was out there with them when you know Rick and when Tyree started punching Rick and Rick started punching and kicking him back and all that and Daryl and Daryl was there and all all that that whole kerfuffle was happening Carol was there watching that so she was like kind of watching sort of maybe the results of something she sort of done in a way so that was probably also something that was adding to what was kind of eating at her this episode even though she definitely I'm sure had all the right intentions with it and at the end of the, I mean like maybe they could have survived though I don't know I don't know I don't know but anyway this episode was really cool with how they kept this focus on everybody having a job and everybody having a role and it was like it, it they did it in a lot of different ways sometimes it was more um you know metaphorical and less tangible than other times in other ones it, in other ways it was like a very strict like you know this is your job like um with Herschel he felt like his job basically you know is to is to care for these people and to do everything he can in his power to be in there in that quarantine zone like directly caring for them even if they're coughing right in his face he said that's the risk that he wants to take since anything that he does is going to be a risk is, you know, Carol, she definitely is playing this role of being that person for everybody. She's the person everybody goes to when they're like, can you watch this person for me? I'm about to die. Can you keep these kids as your own? Can you check in on this person? Can like, basically like, um, and nobody means nobody's asking her to do any of this with, you know, ill intentions. They're asking her to do this because they appreciate her so much and because they know how good of a person she is. But also every time she gets asked something like that, it has to feel like she's being asked, you know, like a, a part of herself is being taken away in a way like, you know, it's being pulled this way and that way. And eventually it's like you start so many other people start to have a part of you that you start to feel like you don't have yourself. And that's probably how Carol is feeling right now, because it feels like she's having to sacrifice so much and she wants to sacrifice so much. It's not like she's against doing this stuff, but it's definitely very taxing and probably, you know, bears a big weight on her. But it's like it feels like that's the job that she has to do. And that's the role that she has to fulfill. Beth was talking about how she feels, you know, they have to be um, basically they have to be strong. They're not allowed to get upset, I believe is what she said. And she was saying that even to Maggie, her own sister, it's like if there's anybody that sometimes you could just talk to and let it out and like, you know, kind of be sad about something with, it would be, you know, somebody like your sister. But it's like, no, you're you're not allowed to be upset. I'm not about to be upset. Like she kind of shut Maggie down when Maggie was kind of sad, which definitely probably kind of might have hurt for Maggie too. But it was like she felt like that was the role that, you know, she and everyone in a way is supposed to play i think tyrese felt the role maybe that he kind of had to be the protector because he had just lost somebody so dear to him and at first it seemed like he was maybe going to be stuck on a bit of a you know a revenge run that might kind of consume him and take his priorities the wrong way which he might still he might still have kind of revenge in his mind and in his heart a lot i'm not sure but Throughout the episode, it started to seem like it started to shift a little bit to where you could tell it was less, at least as things went on, about revenge and more about sort of this sense of, you know, protecting and like maybe almost feeling a sense of responsibility for what had happened in a way. And I and that might be putting things into his head or reading into things that weren't actually there. But yeah, I kind of got that feeling that, you know, he... He started, he was, he was like, I have to stand watch and watch all these people that are in there and make sure nobody's going to come in and hurt them. I guess the way he thought of, you know, how people came and hurt Karen and David. And then, you know, when all those walkers were going on them at the car, he was just telling them to go and he was trying to 
just, you know, stay behind and take all the walkers out. For a second, I was like, dang, does he have a death wish? And maybe he kind of slightly did. But I think he definitely was just, he was like, you know, I'm going to be, you know, that person on the front lines and protect in this situation. Like, he kind of felt like that's where he was coming from to me. And um, I'm I'm just hoping that this all doesn't hurt Tyrese too much and doesn't, you know, take him to any type of too dark of a place to where, like, he starts to maybe get too misguided or stray from his original morals and beliefs and whatnot. It's definitely understandable that this is going to have an impact on him and hurt him a lot. So I'm really hoping that he'll be able to kind of weather the storm and get through it and bounce back in a way. Because I really like Tyrese and I want to see him around for a while. I think he's a really cool character and has a lot of potential. And we're in this with this episode, we already just started to get a bit of another layer on him and see an, uh, an, another new side of him because it feels like what he went through here has kind of changed him. Rick is still, in a way, dealing with that identity crisis that he has of, you know, like, how does he contribute at this point? How much of a leader can he be? But he doesn't really want to be too much of a leader anymore, it seems. So how much, like, what, what can and can he do? So this episode, it kind of felt like he was just sort of maybe kind of toying with the role of just... He was kind of he was kind of just being the detective in a way, like, you know, trying to solve the case, trying to figure things out, trying to work things out between people and everything. It seemed like so it, 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 it in a way it felt like that was sort of Rick's struggle this episode and his role was maybe figuring out what his role is, where he fits in. Therese asked him to do some detective work. So that's kind of what he was sort of doing. He did used to be a police officer. So um, I guess maybe sometimes that type of stuff would end up being something he would do. So maybe that was a little bit of a, you know, flashback for him in a way. But um, I think it's I, I think that this kind of thing definitely fits very well with Rick's just overall progression. So it felt like he had some nice stuff going on this episode. Overall, I just I enjoyed what this episode was doing. I enjoyed some of the, you know, new c- character levels that we got like we're really seeing how far carol is coming and changing now that we know that she's the person that um that did that to karen and david we're seeing tyrese change we're seeing carl continuously grow and change we still know my shown you know is looking for the governor is sound is sounding like i mean it's it's a lot going on but um i think that this new disease is keeping things fresh and also isolation being the title i feel like all these characters not only were they being a lot of people being isolated but these characters maybe are feeling even more isolated than ever right now because you know they they're feeling like they have to keep this distance from each other and even maybe the bonds that they had before they can't completely have and also add on top of that they're feeling like they gotta fill all these different roles and stuff that is probably making them feel like they're sort of alone on their own hill because that's the role that they have to complete and there's nobody else that can really maybe completely understand it. I don't know. So I, I feel like isolation in a way as a title works on multiple levels here. But I think that that's where I'm going to leave it at for this one. Enjoy this episode overall and I'm excited to see what all is about to happen We've now got a few actual main characters with the disease. It's not just, you know, a bunch of the random people. So hopefully nobody dies. I don't want to see any more deaths, but it's The Walking Dead. So of course I will, but hopefully not at least right now. <laughs> but um, I mean, yeah, I, I kind of want to see more deaths. I like, I kind of like deaths in TV shows in a morbid way, of course. It's entertaining. You're like, wow, they really did it. But right now I'm just hoping that these people can weather the storm. So go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the episode. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And head on over to Patreon for the full uncut reactions way ahead of the YouTube schedule. Till next time, I'm Anthony, and I'll see you all later.